Yeah, they flood the streets with guns, they flood our eyes with tears. Little homie 16, they got him facing. What's up, world? This is hiphopsuccess.tv. Coach Tony Brace. I'm really excited today. It's all about that mind rich mentality, it's all about that determination, that skill and putting yourself in great environments. I got my guest here, the one and only professional boxer, Dangerous Don Moore, fighting out of on? Indiana. What's good, my brother? Yeah, That's good. Gary, Indiana, to be yeah. exact. Yeah. It's, going, it's going well, man. We talked yeah. about getting together for a while, brother, yeah. and uh, really making this happen. So appreciate you coming on our show and really shedding some light with our audience about no the problem. mindset of what it takes to be a champion, of, yeah. of what it takes to be a professional. So. First no question, my brother, is tell me a little bit about your story. How did you end up from Gary, Indiana to the West Coast? To be specific, we're in Las Vegas, Nevada, shooting this piece. Okay. Well, I was an um, amateur star out in the Midwest, and, you know, um, Floyd, and them, Floyd and his crew got at me. Um, they reached out to me on the behalf of me coming out to his sparring. That's Money Mayweather, party. by the way. Yeah, and it was like come out to your camp and I didn't really take them serious so um, they called me back and I told them to send that um, confirmation that flight confirmation so they did and they welcomed me and when I first came out here man it's been a blessing that they even acknowledged me from just a small town like Gary and Indiana you know like Roger Mayweather always say the best come from the Midwest and you know with my hard work and determination I went in and did what I had to do and um, when I went back home to Gary Indiana, I was there for like two months, and Floyd called me back like, "Hey, you know, let's get it popping." You know what I'm saying? Like, what you like to, how you like the West Coast? And I changed my whole life. I changed my whole life and my, you know, you know my um, surroundings, and I moved to um, Las Vegas, Nevada, and they welcomed me, and I appreciate it. <laughs> That's what's up, man. So 17 and 0. <clears throat> let's talk about, you know, specifically what it takes to be. A fighter at this level you know he and I were talking behind the cameras you know and I asked him and I'm not gonna put talk about any specific boxers out there that you know he sparred with and, and, and that sort of thing but a lot of boxers are intimidated to go against a boxer if they have a zero record and you yeah. have a zero record because somebody's gonna lose right yeah so take me through that I'm gonna jump to another question about just you know, a little bit of the politics. We're not we're not gonna go into specific names, but yeah. when you seventeen and oh, I guess what I'm saying is that's pretty intimidating. Yeah, they intimidate to fight me, man. I'm dangerous down more, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I come from the Midwest and I don't know how to lose. So I've been winning. I've been winning um since I was a young, you know, so if you got your best, put them up, you know, and I'm gonna show them, you know, just what the Midwest, just what it takes and you know, it's a lot of kids and a lot of people looking up to me. So, you know, I do this and I keep God first and I just, you know, I fight hard and I dedicate myself. You know, I learned a lot from everybody that I spar. You know, even if it's a guy that really don't have a good record or he's not as talented as me, you know, I still can learn. I work on movement, defense, and offense. You know what I mean? So, like I said, man, I do this. You know, I'm undefeated. <laughs> I'm humble about it, but I'm cocky too, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll beat you up. up. <laughs> you know, what was interesting, I find out behind the cameras, this this man, just before he even turned pro, just on the amateur side, has over 100 fights. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, you want to talk about hard work, determination. Yeah, talk about the beginning, man. Um, yeah, when you, when you was a youngster, how'd you get into the whole fighting arena, if you will? My brother named Warren Moore, um, my other god brother named Marcus Johnson, um, they really introduced me to boxing. Just boxing, period. And they, I was young, 12, and they tried to take me to the gym, and it was hot in there, and I'm like, man, I ain't trying to feel no gym. Yeah. I don't want to train, I don't want to work out. And, you know, they called me all, man, you soft, you this and that. 
So they kind of pressured me to come. So to show them that I wasn't no chump when I was younger. And I used to fight in a, you know, in, in a hood in certain areas. You know, I'm going to keep it all the way real today. And um, I went to the gym and sparred this guy. He was kind of a pretty boy guy with like green eyes and straight hair. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking like this dude ain't going to beat me. Man, he got in there and whooped me up. <laughs> and then um, the coaches was like, you got something. Um, just if you come back and dedicate yourself and just listen to us, you got something. And within the next week, I sparred the same guy again and beat him bad. And the coach was like, man, I told you, you know, you, you know, he told my brother, we just got to keep him out of trouble, you know what I mean? And you really got something. And um, my first fight, it was within three weeks um, after I first, like, started training as an amateur. Within three weeks, I fought in the Junior Olympic tournament, and I won the whole tournament. We took 14 guys down there, and, like, four or five won. And I was one of four or five, and that showed from there, you know, the blessings that was upon me, that was around me, you know, like, all you got to do is dedicate yourself, and if it's for you, you know, don't let nobody else tell you that you can't or you want or that you ain't, you know, you show the world your greatness. Absolutely, so. absolutely. So, hiphopsuccess.tv, we like to say our slogan is, <laughs> we are the blueprint to mental success. And something that was very interesting, what you said, was that word dedication and your brothers and the trainers and the coaches saw something that you had within you yeah. but it was still up to you in terms of taking personal responsibility yes. ownership for your life and saying you know what i'm going to dedicate myself so yeah. what i want to know what i want to get to or get across i should say to the audience in terms of this mind rich game that we're giving you because this is a big yeah. game is what did you have to give up in yeah. terms of the streets to to chase your craft to chase your vision it's a sacrifice, you know. Um, you got to give up a lot of mental, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you got to have the the physical, you got to be in a good mind state, as in peaceful, peace upon yourself. Um, it's not always about your surroundings or, you know, the area, or a lot of people say they can't, you know what I mean? Um, um, I wanted to do it. And um, when I really focused and recognized that I had to do it and I could do it, you know, my um, coaches and stuff, they made sure that my grades was good. So I just couldn't box because I wanted to box. They made sure that, like, yo, you got to excel in this area to excel in this area. You know what I mean? And, you know, it all felt good. So what I could tell to the youth, man, is just like, you know, when you sacrifice, you know, not only not only you just giving yourself as in your personal sacrifice, it just got to be, you know, everybody around you going to have to acknowledge it. And that's when you you get like fans and family that really supportive of you because they see a change because you got to change. You know what I mean? So, I mean, with me, the change as in changing from the streets was, man, that, you know, I knew right from wrong. And, you know, with boxing, boxing saved my life, you know, so I really take my hat off to, you know, hip hop success, you know, TV and, um, you know. I really take my hat off to Floyd and them. I take my hat off to, um, you know, my coaches as an amateur, you know what I mean, because they really helped me. A lot of people, it took part into, you know, you succeeding. It's behind the scenes, they only see, like, you know, we're really in the limelight, like they only see you, like with Floyd. They only see Floyd, but behind the scenes, it's like a lot of people. You got a team, you know, so mm -hmm. keep God first and keep training hard. Yeah. You know, so. You know, I heard a lot of good things, a lot of key words, and what I really picked up, number one, is keep God first. Yeah, definitely. Number two, be willing to sacrifice. Number three, it sounded like you had some good people <laughs> surrounded you, some coaches, yeah. some family members, your brother, yeah, that sort of thing, really challenging you, saying, yeah. hey, if you really want this bad, you're going to have to turn it up in, in, in terms of your yeah. grades. You're going to have to turn it up in, in terms of your training. That's true. So that was the amateur world. 100 fights in that game, yeah. turn pro, 17-0, it's 2015, June, what is it today, June 11th to be exact, yeah. you know, entrepreneurs sometimes we slip time, yeah. Yeah. you it's know, cool. we, we time rich, not only we wine rich, but we time rich, but nevertheless, take me through a typical day in your off season when you're not training, and during <clears throat> peak season when you're actually preparing in this camp and you get ready to fight. Yeah, um, I like relaxing. I like being around positive individuals. Mm -hmm. um, 
Um, I feel like I like being around family and friends. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, me, I be around a lot of people with a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Like Floyd <laughs> and the whole money team. And, and you know, um, it's a lot of people that say like you can't do it and like you're not gonna do it and a lot of people that'll give up on you but you gotta like you know continue to keep God first and you gotta know believe within win from within that's what I say in a day in the life of dangerous Don more it's basically like you know I wake up you know I gotta my mind state be like I gotta eat first um you know, I, I give honor to God when I wake up, you know what I'm saying? And then I, you know, I get dressed, I prepare for the gym. And, you know, when I go to the gym, when I walk in the doors of the gym, man, um, nobody can beat me. That's what, I, that's what I feel, that's what I say to myself. So no matter who I spar, no matter if I hit the mix with Roger or, or what I'm doing, I'm going to be the best at what I do, you know. So every day is, is, is hard. You know, a lot of people don't know, like I said, from the outside looking in, it's hard. The training is hard, but when y'all see us fight, it's like, that looks easy, you know, because we perform and we perfect our skill and our talent, you know, but it takes a lot, man, to even stay mentally focused in, in a boxing world. You got to be mentally focused because boxing is more business than it is to fight, mm. you know, you know, I just, I just work in this business, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, Do you consider yourself the product? Are you the product? Yeah. And the brand? Yeah. Yes. So, you know what I mean? You know, um, the day in the life after the... You know, and the training camp. When you, when you... The, the off-season and then the peak season. Like, yeah. how do you turn it up to the next level? Is there extra focus? Is there no females? Is there no part? Yeah. You know, let's, let's get into the specific sacrifices, yeah. even as a pro. Okay. Are you training like a dog animal? Like you homeless, you know? I like, train, like yeah. Like pistols to your head? I train every day. Okay. You know, even where if I'm training for a fight, preparing... I treat every fight like it's a championship fight, mm -hmm. you know, so whether if I'm training to fight just on a regular show or if I'm training to fight on a big card, you know, like Floyd Mayweather undercard or something, I treat every fight like it's a championship fight. Share with the world who are some of the artists uh, that you grew up listening to in your day. Um, UGK, uh oh, okay. I might show my age. <laughs> <laughs> UGK, um, you know, um, Master P. Mm -hmm. um, Tupac for sure, mm -hmm. Biggie, you know, um, Jay Z now. Mm -hmm. So a lot of as far as Midwest Twister, mm -hmm. um, uh, it's a lot of and it's a lot of underground artists that a lot of people really didn't, you know, catch heed to. But you know, any, a any lot specific of, underground artists shout outs you want to give to some folks um, back home? Any, any yeah, artists shout out to Mud and Jeff, they doing their thing. Um, okay, you know, shout out to. Um, you know, the whole Taliban movement, you know, shout out to any artists out there around the world that's really trying to dedicate themselves to their craft, you know, and serious about it, not just for the money, you know, and they serious about it. You know, like me as a boxer, you know, some, some fights, I may take a fight that's like five grand. It's not about the money. It's about the win, you know, and I dedicate myself so when I'm ready, you know, it ain't always about the money, you know what I mean? You get to, you gotta, you gotta know your worth. You know what I'm saying? That five grand may turn into 50. That 50 may turn into 500,000. You know, so you got to know your worth, man. You know, and really, if you, if you love the sport, you got to fall in love with your sport. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what a lot of people think. It's just business. Like, right, right. Nah, man. You got to fall in love. I love this. You know what passion. I mean? Passion. You got the passion for it. Yeah. You know, like, working hours that's like, you know, I was telling you that I was training at 2 in the morning. Right, right, right. Like people would be sleeping around that time at 2 in the morning. I'm at 2 in the gym, morning training. training. I'm training crazy. for like 2 hours, 3 hours straight. Wow. With the world champion. <laughs> wow. So, you know now, what I mean? Now, let's, let's touch on that, man, because as we was chopping it up, I was saying, you know, yeah. when you when you look at something mathematically, there's 7 billion people on planet earth that's true and floyd mayweather is considered you know one of the best of our generation for sure if not yeah. pound for pound champion of all time yeah you know even with the greats muhammad ali yeah. so you want a few human beings that's ever stepped in the ring yeah. to absorb some punches yeah and to give some punches that's true <laughs> When you think about that now, man, how does that feel, man? I know he's just a man yeah, like man. you and I, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You, you know him, obviously, a little bit. 
uh, uh, more detailed and in-depth than most people. But inside that ring, man, what was that experience like, especially when you got out the ring, you took off the gloves, and you was in the shower, yeah. and you said, you know what? Me and Money Mayweather, we, th- we threw something. We threw them things. He, oh, man, he um, accepted me with open arms. Um, he's a humble individual, you know, um, man, he's a good business, great businessman, and he's a father, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people don't know, you know, like, what he do outside, but when he helps everybody, you know, and he don't even, he don't even know you, and he will help you, you know what I mean? Just come at him in a, in a respectful manner, you know? Um, business respect business, as far as with me, with Floyd, man. <laughs> in that ring. Yeah, we was doing our thing, you know. I learned a lot from Floyd, you know, as far as offense, defense. And man, he quick, fast, he hit hard, you know. I try to catch him with a lot. He tried to catch me with a lot. I mean, it was an experience. <laughs> I have to think once once you guys are filling each other out, yeah. <laughs> being Floyd Mayweather's out the window, it's, right? Yeah. I mean, naturally, it's, yeah. I know for me, I'm, once I'm getting down, I'm getting down. I'm not it thinking tense. about who, who, who it is, right? <laughs> yeah, it was tense, man. Um, but to be in there with him, man, it's like a basketball player holding a basketball and actually standing in front of Michael Jordan, wow. one of the greatest, playing with him, having a chance, the opportunity to shoot hoops with him, play ball with Mike, man. Floyd is the greatest of, of, of all time right now. You know what I'm saying? As far as, man, business outside the ring, Man, he does, he, man, I take my hat off to him, man. A lot of respect to the money team and what he doing and the lifestyle, how he living. You know, a lot of people see the cars and a lot of people see him spending money and all that. But man, if you check out All Access and, you know, really look into the lifestyle, I mean, that's been a blessing, you know, because when he wasn't, and when he didn't have that, when nobody talking, you know what I mean? So, you know, you gotta take your hat off to what the man accomplished, you know what I mean? And he's, he doing his thing. <laughs> he beat Pacquiao, so now what else somebody else got to say, you know? No doubt about you know, it, man. You know, it's fantastic hearing these stories, man. <laughs> and, you know, as you know, and a lot of people in the world know, I take this greatness thing yeah. seriously. You know, I coach people to get results, whether it's athletes, business owners, mm-hmm. entrepreneurs, and me just being connected to somebody that's 17 and 0. Yeah. Connected to somebody now that is 49 and 0. Man, that's, you know what I mean? This is what hip hop success TV is all exactly. about. It's all about introducing you to greatness. So next question that I have, man, is currently right now, when is your next fight or who who are you targeting? Who would be a good look for Dangerous Don Moore to, to have an opportunity to showcase your world class skills? Um, I say, you know, the Lamont Peterson. You know what I mean? Um Anybody really at 140, you know, so, you know what I'm saying? It's like, put your O against my O, somebody O got to go, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Somebody's O got to up, go, you know, that's one of people with yeah. my people, you know, I'm 17 and old now, um, I fight July 24th coming up, um, out here in Las Vegas, it's my first fight in Vegas, I fight main event, A rounder, man, I'm so happy about it, I'm so just like, yeah. excited because, you know, like, a lot of doors been shut, but a lot of doors been open. No doubt. You know what I mean? So it's like, as in a boxing business, is that's great. Right. You know, right. and they're going to respect, you know, my hard work and dedication and where I come from. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, um, I learned a lot, and I've been in there with a lot. A lot of people really don't know me, and a lot of people really do know me. Mm-hmm. Because behind the scenes, um, I haven't fought in Vegas yet. You know, I fought in the Midwest. But now this is my time and my opportunity, you know, and I'm carrying the torch. So July 24th, out here at Sam's Town, you know, the contracts is, um, you know, getting taken care of and whatever opponent. <laughs> no doubt about it. I want to say thank you so much, Dangerous Don Moore. Please let all the people know where they can catch you at on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that sort of stuff. You can um, follow me. I'm Don the Champ on Instagram, Facebook. You know, Twitter, Dangerous Don Moore. Um, I got my own website, you know, DangerousDonMoore.com. I mean, you can follow me. Check me out, you know. You can leave comments. I'll comment back, you know. So, man, it's been a blessing, you know what I'm saying, just to be a part of, you know, Hip Hop Success no TV. Doubt. So, you know, you see we rocking. We stay fresh, you know. <laughs> the best must impress, you know what I mean? That's right. So, man, I appreciate it. Man, I appreciate the love, my brother. For so, sure. 
Coach Tony Brace, Hip Hop Success TV, Don Dangerous Moore. Stay tuned. We out.